I'm Mike Sullivan. Okay, we're gonna talk about this again. Are you tired of hitting fat shots? Are you tired of hitting thin shots? When you do hit it solid, do you pick it off the turf and hit kind of a high soft shot? Let's work on compressing the ball and making more solid contact. Okay, so no one likes hitting fat shots. No one likes hitting thin shots. I'll hit a thin one, right? A top shot. No one likes doing that stuff. But why, do, why can't we stop it? Well, here's what's going on a lot of times. Good ball strikers. So if you're looking at tour players or a lot of lower, lower handicappers, what you're going to see them do is you're gonna see those good players, when they get down towards impact, the handle of the club is leading the club head. Higher handicappers, guys that are hitting thin shots and fat shots, the club head is leading the handle. I don't know if you heard that if I hit that fat. So I wanna show you a drill, something you can do to improve this. Here we go. And I had a lesson today with someone, and we worked on exactly this. You take your range bucket, put it back behind your ball. Okay, right in your target line. So the idea is that when you, and you may, you may have a little bit of trouble missing that thing coming back, right? But the idea is that we want to be able to hit our shot with our hands getting ahead of that club head this way. A lot of times we'll see golfers start their downswing with a little bit of this going on, right? And then that would make contact with your basket, okay? And you'll have to figure out how, how close can you get that because you want to have a, a backswing that's going to work. So I'm going to just kind of avoid it a little bit on the backswing, right? That was a very, very solid shot because with that basket, it really encourages getting those hands out in front of your body here instead of getting the club kind of you know, casting, right? Casting like this, right? Casting that way. All right, so this is a great drill to help you if you're hitting fast shots, if you're hitting thin shots, if your best shots are ones where you pick that ball off the turf and you hit it, when you hit it really, really well, you're two clubs shorter than your buddies, then you're probably adding lofted impact. And this drill can really help you get the right idea in the right sense and actually help you improve your ball striking by getting your hands more ahead at impact. I hope that helps. I'll see you next time.